Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 16 that is generating reports in Cucumber in Java. In this lecture, you will learn how to create the HTML report and write to that HTML report. Then how to add the screenshot uh, in that report if that uh, your scenario fails. And as I said earlier, how to write the data or log information into the Cucumber report. We have got this selenium.feature file over here and I'm executing that file using this JUnit test. Over here, I have given this feature file name that is the name of this file and I have also given the glue that is fair my stable definition uh, class is available and plugin is this one HTML colon target slash my report what it means is that after uh, executing this test create the report HTML report in this particular directory so after I execute this particular test what will happen is it will generate the report HTML report and write uh, this uh, scenario steps in that particular report. So before that I'm gonna comment out some steps which we do not need So right here I'm gonna comment out this one and I'm gonna execute this particular test and Then I will show you the report that is generated So in your project directory there is a target directory under your uh, project root directory and then there is one directory will be created my report and in that index.html will be created so i'm gonna delete this one okay this thing cannot delete it that's fine All right, the test has failed. And if you go to that particular directory, open in browser Chrome. As you can see, uh, it is printing that particular exception that had come. So that is how this particular report looks like when the test or the scenario fails. Now I want to show you how the scenario report looks like when the test passes. So before that, let me delete this particular directory and the selenium steps. So this time around, if I execute this particular test, it will pass because we have given the correct title and also notice that right now there is no directory that my report directory is not there in this under target so after the test execution is finished then target directory will contain that index.html file sorry my report directory and in that you will find index.html file that is the report file All right, the test has, uh, scenario has passed and now my report directory is also created. So if you look at this index.html and open it in browser, you can notice that this is how it is, looks like when the scenario passes and also note that the tags are also printed in this blue color and uh, scenario is actually shrinked. So if you want to see the steps in that particular scenario, you have to click on that scenario name and it will display the scenario steps now up to this point it is fine like it is printing the scenario steps and if it fails it is printing the exception that was thrown at that time but sometimes we need to add extra information in that particular report or we need to also add the screenshot as well like when we are executing the tests using selenium we need to insert the screenshot in that as well as we need to add extra information so how to update or edit this particular report dynamically while the test is execution is happening so for that what you have to do is in the selenium steps definitions or the step methods you have to pass this particular object scenario object or here uh, I have passed that object to this uh, method after a hook method so this method gets uh, invoked when the scenario ends 
so at the end of the scenario this particular method is gonna execute so to that method you can, I have passed this scenario object but it is not necessary that you uh, pass this object to this after hook method you can pass that scenario object to any of these methods like over here we have got this method so all these methods uh, can accept that particular object and once you get that scenario object you can check if the scenario is failed using this particular method is failed and if it is failed you can use this embed method to embed the screenshot and this is the pure selenium syntax to take the screenshot of the page and using embed method of scenario object you can insert that into the html report and over here we have added extra information over here saying that scenario has passed so i'm gonna pass or print one more line over here when the scenario fails saying that scenario failed and i'm gonna intentionally fail this particular scenario by typing incorrect title now if I execute this particular test, what will happen is that scenario will fail and then extra information will also be printed in the report. Because we have used dot, uh, scenario dot write method as you can see over here, we have used scenario dot write method. This is used to send the log information into the report and this embed method is used to insert the screenshot. And also remember that uh, do not uh, use this scenario dot write or scenario dot embed methods in this before hook method otherwise HTML report is not generated and as you can see scenarios failed and now if I open this index.html report let us see how it looks like remember that we had added that line scenario field which is inserted in here and then that screenshot that uh, image file is also inserted in this report so that is how you can Customize the HTML report and add screenshot in that report in Cucumber in Java. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on Cucumber and Selenium. Thank you.